Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Wood Elves, going up against Reichland and uh, under the command of uh, Volkmar the Grim. So, they're attacking Vol's Anvil, it's a tier 5 settlement, they've got upgraded garrison there, but this army is just significantly stronger than it, and outnumbering us by 3 units, plus that Hellstorm Rocker batteries over there, they will just rip to shreds basically all of your infantry. Um, this guy's given this battle a go quite a few times and can't seem to win it. He even tried loading the autosave, because it's not on legendary difficulty, I believe it's on very hard difficulty, um, and recruiting Durthu, but when he does that, the enemy sends two armies, so that doesn't help at all. Durthu can't take on an entire extra army by himself. Um, anyway, let's go in here and see what we can do. Now he, from what he explained to me, he tried hiding the majority of his forces and, you know, doing an ambush, which, to be honest, seems like the correct way of doing it. And just because he didn't manage to do it that way, doesn't mean I won't be able to, because so that's exactly what I'm thinking of doing. The only unit in the army that can't hide is the uh, the Hawk Riders. Even the Tree Men can hide in the forest. So, one problem here, though, is that there's a lot of open space in this area here. So this is definitely to their advantage for that. The first thing that we absolutely must do is get rid of the Hellstorm rocket batteries. That is an absolute must. And uh, the best units for doing that would probably be um, would be the Glade Riders. So we need to find somewhere to put them. The closest place where we could put them is about here. Don't put them on fire at will to begin with. Yeah, if we run over to the forest here, they'll detect them and then they'll go check for them. Um, the rest of the army should stand probably about here. Now, a lot of their units are gun troops, so if we could lure them as close as possible to here and then charge at them. The Wildwood Rangers are reasonably fast for, you know, melee infantry. So, they should be able to close in pretty quickly, like, yeah, they don't really have many melee infantry as a, as a front line. They got like two, the rest is missing, so we really, we don't want to get into a skirmish with them, because they actually have firepower superiority. We've got a range superiority, but in, hold on, see, Deepwood Scouts, they're actually not very good. Oh, look, this one's here, the 135, they, these are shit, these are absolute garbage. Um... Yeah, so we're actually, we actually don't have missile superiority here. They do. But we've actually got melee superiority, which is so great for very hard difficulty, you know. It's quite possible that their gunner units might actually beat us in melee. Alright, so, what we're going to do here is utilize the Hawk Riders. And I'll leave it on fireball. And, um, I'm going to get within range of the Hellstorm rocket batteries to try to lure the enemy army away so that we might be able to send in the the um the glade riders to go and kill the hellstorm rocket batteries but in doing so they're probably going to be killed off themselves but that's by far their best unit that's going to be worth a lot of bounce power but still we need to get three units ahead of them so they've got they've got three units on top of us so sacrificing two units to kill three is okay but i prefer to kill those three without taking any damage but we might not be able to do that. So if I can use these guys to skirmish, because they can outrange the outriders just by a little bit. If they can, if this one here could take out one of the outriders in a skirmish, that would help. So we'll see. All right. If we move from side to side, the hellstorm rocket batteries shouldn't be able to hit us. And with them shooting at us, they're not going to move. Problem is, the rest of the army is going to move. It's not really a problem. move sort of at the last second make sure you hold down spacebar to see what the range of the other troops are so the whole purpose of what I'm doing here is just making sure that the hillstone rocket batteries don't move it's not oh shit I fucked up okay hopefully that doesn't bite me too much in the ass stupid treekin Alright, let's hope- yeah, okay, they've, they've forgotten about it. That's- I'm very lucky. 
They're like, ah, oh, it's just a tree. So we've only taken minimal damage, need them to just stay still. Okay, I'm not trying to waste this one's ammo. And we are outside of the range of the Hillstorm Rocket Batteries. Okay, now I'm going to try to skirmish them. Just a little bit, because we've got 40 extra range on them, I believe. Let me just check that. No. 10 extra range. The thing is, it's just in pure firepower. The Outriders will win. Which is why we need to hit and run. Ah, but... They're just so shit at it. Hawk Riders are fucking garbage. Lucky there. Lucky they missed. I don't know who's winning in this situation here. Is that... Those are grenade launchers. We need to get rid of these Outriders here first before we start worrying about the other ones. They do have a lot of grenade launcher ones. Haven't killed any of them yet. That being said, they haven't killed any of ours, but we outnumber. So they outnumber us by a lot uh, in terms of firepower. Fucking. One of the worst things about this unit is its inability to shoot while uh, moving from a 360 degree angle, which is, which would have actually made them decent. Because like they don't have much ammo, they don't do much damage, and they have to stop for a moment before shooting. It's so garbage. Okay. We managed to get a couple of kills there. Okay, we're at the edge here. Don't want to get boxed in. Okay, luckily they missed there as well. Alright, we've got a good distance away from them. But it's not, it's not enough yet. It's not enough. Okay, we could start heading back, st sending them over there, but it, I'm telling you, it's not close enough yet. Yeah, trying to out skirmish an outrider is not easy with only 10 range advantage. It's just not enough of, of an advantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, alright, let's go. Let's go. They're going in. Rush on in. Okay, while well, that's going on. No, don't don't give away the position just yet. Not yet. I tell you we give away the position of. Fucking Treek in. Because they're garbage. Fucking useless. Just want to give away the game. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. Just, just hold off, hold off. Okay, I'm going to send them over here, which will drag them right in the middle of a, essentially an ambush. Okay, let's get ready for that. Unfortunately, shooting um, through the trees is actually pretty bad for Wood Elves, because it just blocks so many shots. It's, it's bad for any missile unit. Don't give away the position just yet. Okay, we're actually pretty lucky to have not taken that much damage just yet. And these guys here. Alright, position's been given. Away. Let's do this. Get rid of that Outrider. You, get back over Andy over here. 
keep these three hidden for now. We're going to need them at the end. They're useless at the start here. Absolutely useless. They're too slow. Alright. All three Hellstorm rocket, rocket batteries will be destroyed. With well, the crew, that is. Alright. Alright, with that done, move further into the forest. Over this way. Ah, oh, crap. They're going back to being hidden, and hopefully they're giving up on us. Meanwhile... Okay, look, they're all hidden. Just stop. They're, they're changing directions again. Because they can't see us. Alright, that went... Almost perfectly. Yes, all three are gone. It would be good to wipe them out because you don't have to fight them again later. But we also got gunners shooting at us. Okay, just, just call it quits there. Alright, bouncer power is still not even, but we got the three units almost for free. So we've. Hang on, are these the border guard? Yeah, the, sorry, border men. They, they can't fire back. Are we still going to get rid of the outriders? But they, they can't fire up the, the air. Or can they? I don't know. I mean, it says can't attack air, but I think they actually can. Yeah, they're probably not wiped out, but we'll, we'll see. It's not super important. Okay, yeah, you come over this way and go and hide. Can they shoot up at the... Because if we get rid of them with the Hawk Riders, that's a really big win, because these are shit and they're really good. Yeah, they can shoot at the air. So that's a load of horse shit. Can't attack out of my ass. But we still seem to have the advantage. Because they're an anti-infantry weapon. Alright, once we've taken out their cavalry as much as possible... That's going to make it a lot better for our cavalry to be a little bit more mobile. Um, I, okay, their speed's 94. I'm pretty sure they can outrun Reichsguard. And they've got good range. More Reichsguard. I might not be able to hide. I might have to actually go around. This here is, is a great trade-off for balance of power. Really, really good. Because these are some high-value units. Alright. Totally fine for them to have a bit of a shoot at the Reichsguard. So Reichsguard's speed, 66. There's no way they'll catch us, even if we're tired. Okay, don't fire... Yeah, turn them off, fire will. So yeah, we just do these little hit and runs, just pick them off a little bit at a time before we do the main attack. You don't do the main attack first and then try to do hit and runs. This is the skirmish phase. Skirmish phase is... Wh whoever wins the skirmish phase is who is able to bullshit the most, basically. And I'm the biggest bullshitter you'll ever meet. Alright, that might actually do some damage to us if those hit. I feel like this is working out reasonably well. So yeah, them having 150 range and 360 degree, that, that makes them a hell of a lot better for dealing with the cavalry than the Hawk Riders. But the Hawk Riders did, did well. I'm happy with what they did. They should be able to beat um, Outriders in melee. Yeah, if we can get rid of as much of the cavalry as possible, that would make a big difference for us. Now the balance of power is actually in our favor, but that doesn't mean we've won the battle just yet. And also, since he said that, that there is another army close by, I don't know if there would be on Force March or what, because I didn't, I didn't see what he did. I think it's important that we try to make sure we win this as best as possible, because otherwise this, arm, this, this garrison could get attacked again next turn. So let's try not to, like, get in... The entire garrison annihilated. 
Because otherwise we've just prolonged the inevitable by one turn, which, I don't know, that's not great. It would be good if we could wipe that unit out. Shit. <laughs> no way they're going to catch us, unless I drop the ball a little bit, which I did. Come on, get away, get away. Ugh. Get away. See, their charge speed is quite high. Yeah, we're tired and they're fresh. That is going to affect us a bit. Okay, we're still getting the better of them for sure, but not by a huge margin. These guys have already done their worth, but they need to do better than that. They are not going to have enough ammo to wipe out the other Reichsguard either, as well. This is working out reasonably well so far. Strength. At speed. Ride. At once. At speed. The thing is, while we're shooting, that's why our fatigue goes down so much lower than theirs. But goddamn, these guys being still fresh, that's. Well, now they're active. Despite running around so much, running doesn't actually use up that much uh, fatigue in this. It's about combat. That's why I usually don't bother too much about reduced, like those um, those traits in Lord skills that reduce uh, the fatigue rate. Usually don't do that much because units go from fresh to exhausted in combat like super quickly. So reducing it by like 15% is it's not that big of a deal. Whereas running it, they could run around the entire map and they they'll they might get tired. All right, with that done, I still don't want to charge them in, but at the same time, we, we don't have much else going on. There's only one unit of Reichsguard in there, so I'm going to keep these guys hidden. These guys here will stalk, and we'll just sort of stalk behind them and try and hit them, hit them in the ass, kind of. Bounce of pals in our favor. If we just charge in there, we might just win. And again, it's not about that. You know, not just about that. Just keep. Oh, hang on, these guys got detected. That's not good. Get back in there. Right, you should probably stand over here. It'll make it harder for the Reichsguard to get us. Pretty sure if we sent in all three of these, the Reichsguard will still beat us, even though we've got more health in it. Alright, here we go. Fire at will. Those guns are going to have a hard time shooting from here. And our guys, of course, yeah, they shoot the ground. Centuries of training. Quick, shoot the ground. Oh yeah, gotta get rid of those bordermen. Don't let them shoot at us. Ah oh, crap, they caught us because I wasn't paying enough attention. Just wait for them to catch up. We should be able to beat them. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Charge it. You're gonna shoot anything. Shoot the Rock's guard. I did see a missile unit. Oh, there it is over there. Okay, it's ages away. He 
Alright, so far so good. Now he also said that he was able to like kill the entire army except for Volkmar, but Volkmar was the big problem at the end there. So, we'll see how this goes. I reckon the tree men would be able to take out Volkmar easily enough. I don't want Volkmar tying down buddy three units of infantry. Just have one of them fight him for the time being. Well you better shoot these war wagons. You know how powerful they are. Yeah, to stop these guys from moving as much as possible. They're, they're not gonna last long. You get over here, tree man. Your job is to take out Volkmar. So far, so good, I think. So apparently he's got the Jade Griffin as well. Yeah, I'll get these guys to shoot the, the archers. Because they're probably not going to hit Volkmar right now. Like I said, the tree man should be able to handle him. And there's the army losses, so we don't actually need to wound him. And now we'll just see how the rest of the end turn goes before we, uh, before we hand it back. And of course, run down as many of them as possible. Like, you know, they shouldn't get wiped out. And also, because this is their first fight, they actually gained a fair bit of experience, which will make them better in future fights, provided they actually get some time to replenish. If they send another army immediately, that's going to be a big problem, um, considering the cavalry took a big beating, and so did the Wildwood Rangers. Because they could always just force march this army straight back. But what if the other army is, is not within range and came in via force march before? Like I said, I know that there's, I know that there's another army coming. I think Volkmar got away. But the majority of his army is dead. Alright, that'll do. So yeah, the key to that was definitely firstly taking out the enemy artillery, then taking out as much of the cavalry as possible. After doing that, the infantry was worthless. Especially given the terrain that we forced them to fight on. That was terrible for them. Because they got quite a few gunners and they just weren't able to inflict any kills because of the terrain. When it comes to Wood Elves, the terrain is super important. You have to make use of it as much as possible. And that doesn't necessarily mean always fighting trees. Just because they're called Wood Elves doesn't mean that they're, they're good fighters in the trees. Alright. That's the end of that one. That's just the only thing I think we had to worry about. So, Reichland is sorted for the time being. Hopefully that sorts out your situation a little bit. Um, hope that's helped. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, fuckers.